free agent season is upon us. So today I'm talking about the qualifying offer or QO. What is it and how does it work? The QO can allow a team losing a player to free agency to gain a draft pick. Here's the basic rule. If a player is about to become a free agent, his team can make a one-year QO to the player. The QO is the same for every eligible player. It's the mean salary of MLB's highest paid 125 players. This offseason, it's $19.65 million. If the player accepts the QO, which he has 10 days to do, he has basically signed a one-year contract and his team does not get the draft pick. But if he declines the QO, he becomes a free agent and the team he leaves will gain a draft pick and the team he signs with will lose a draft pick. The value of the draft picks gained and lost depend on revenue sharing status, luxury tax thresholds, and the size of the free agent's new contract. The only players eligible for QOs are those who have never received a QO in their career and those who have spent the entire season on the offering team's roster. The QO is a competitive balance measure. It allows small market teams to gain a draft pick when they don't want to pay up for expensive free agents. I'm Kelly Franco-Troop and that's your three inning minute.